All right, this is your HEPA Flow 12 by Bonsai. Uh, this is what it's gonna look like when you open up your box. This is going to be your motor. Go ahead and take that out. And then right below that is going to be your instructional uh, pamphlet on how to assemble your Bonsai HEPA Flow 12. Uh, it's going to include the screws, the pegs, and the silicone uh, sealant as well. Go ahead and remove the air packaging, keeping everything safe during shipping. Uh, these are your support brackets right below everything that we just took out. It's CNC'd, pre-drilled for easy assembly. All you need is a screwdriver. And then below all of that is what is actually the bread and butter of your HEPA Flow 12. This is your uh, bumpers, faceplate, as well as the uh, filter that is actually producing the laminar flow. And this is everything that you need for your your bonsai all right so this is your hepa flow 12 by bonsai uh it is their lightest and most portable model um weighs just a little over 20 pounds um if you are going to be using this make sure to plug it into a surge protector in order to protect your motor um this uh particular flow hood model is great for doing agar work liquid culture or working with spore syringes. Um, if you are gonna do any type of work with agar, we definitely recommend using one of Bonsai's uh, risers. It's definitely very useful for that particular use. You could also use spawn bags as well, but as you can see, it doesn't necessarily actually stay within that flow. So what you'll actually have to do, if you do wanna use spawn bags with your HEPA Flow 12, you want to get like the bottom of a mono tub or anything else that you can use to raise it up and just kind of give it a little bit more space to work with and as you can see once you cut open that bag it's still going to be within the flow if it's your first time using the flow hood you'll want to go ahead and run it for at least 30 minutes to season the filter and then also furthermore if it's your first time using a flow hood at all we recommend using the side buffers here this just helps to train you in the parameters or the space that you can actually work within where everything will be sterile all right this is your uh, bonsai hepa flow 12 and this is your bonsai xl 24 by 18. so both of these units are made with three quarter inch plywood both professionally cnc machined and furthermore uh, the filters are both replaceable and talking about the filters now they're rated at H14 they're also rated to uh, filter down to 0.3 microns which filters out 99.99% of your contaminants and furthermore the filters are further protected with these bump guards which are neatly placed here so if you're working and you're not you know being fully cognizant of what's happening and you actually hit it, you're not gonna damage the mini pleated filter right behind. Both feature uh, the same motor that is uh, manufactured by a private label company that produces and manufactures these motors, high-end motors for uh, Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances. But the major distinction between the two motors other than the power difference is the Bonsai XL features a pre-filter, which is easily removed as so. And also the pre-filter can be replaced very easily just by removing it here. That's what it looks like. And then... Thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, curiosities, please feel free to reach us at support at midwestgrowkits.com and or call us at 1-800-921-4717. Thank you.